Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders like Yovita here in the global connectivity and real estate markets and the networks within them. Um, so I'm joined. Uh, we have the, a very special guest with DC Byte today. Um, we've got the uh, AMIA Research Manager here, Yavia Janosh. I, I, I tried. Um, and so I'm very excited to chat with you, Yavita. Um, of course, a DC Byte is a data center leader reimagining the future of the availability of in-depth industry market intelligence. Um, so so very interesting uh, uh, guest uh, for us today to chat with. Chat with. Um, so it's your first time on JSA TV, um, and we, we'd like to just hear a quick introduction, if you don't mind, a little bit about what you do uh, for DC Byte and what led you to pursue a career in the data center industry. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so first of all, thank you so much for having me. Um, my name is Jovita Janusz mm. and I work as MAI Research Manager. Mm. Um, my primary focus is to ensure the accuracy and the quality of the data within MAI region, mm. as well as to align the research methods across the different teams. Mm. Um, and I'm also managing the team of eight analysts based in EMEA mm -hmm. and two analysts in the Americas as we are building on our data sets in that moment. And being completely honest, I haven't really pursued a career in the data center industry. Mm -hmm. um, I was working in a small business at residential property. Mm -hmm. um, and at that time, I was looking for graduate equivalent business analyst roles. And there was a slightly similar role as a research analyst advertised mm -hmm. by DC Byte, which I quite liked. And I thought I'm going to give it a go. And here we are three years later. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've heard about the data centers just before the interview. So it's been quite a journey, but so far I really enjoyed it. Excellent, excellent. I feel like that's some of the best stories about pe how people land in this industry. Yeah. They kind of happen upon it, and then you, you you don't even necessarily know about it sometimes until you're you're in it, which yeah. is something that we're actively working to change as an industry. I think, um, but it's so it's such an incredible, powerful, and highly relevant industry. So it's a, it's a really amazing um, a sector to be a part of. Um, so you are appearing on a panel later this afternoon. So you're very yes. busy today. Um, so let me read off the name of this panel. The point of diminishing returns where low latency operations shouldn't be your priority. Um, so, of course, the industry is growing at an exponential rate, like we were just saying. Um, so what do you think should be a priority for data center developers when it comes to infrastructure location? I believe at the moment the data center developers are focusing into the markets that have... Uh, but still have availability of large land plots as well as, and more importantly, a huge availability of power mm -hmm. in there um, as that sort of secures them the opportunities to scale up in the future. Mm -hmm. um, having so many markets across Europe mm -hmm. uh, suffering from power constraints, we would expect that this is this trend is continued to remain where the data center operators will be trying to grab uh, powered land in lower latency regions. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. And particularly um, knowing that so many countries in Europe are now focusing towards sustainability and shifting um, from um, more carbon intense um, electrical power supply to renewable energy sources, we would mm -hmm. expect that uh, more and more data center developers would be looking into establishing data centers in the locations where uh, there is an abundant supply of renewable energy today mm -hmm. um, as opposed to later, which is why we would expect that Nordics are also likely to have a huge growth in the future. Okay, perfect. We'll definitely check out that panel um, if you're here on site, the point of diminishing returns. Um, okay, last question. So uh, how can infrastructure owners effectively navigate decision-making processes and what role does data center intelligence play, which is a hot topic at the industry yeah. today um, or at the at the conference this week, um, in facilitating such trans transitions? What trends do you predict there for the near future? Well, lately we've started noticing trends that more and more data center operators um, mm. started acquiring land plots outside of the traditional data center clusters, mm. whether that's in prior called secondary markets or within the same primary markets, but in the regions where availability zones are not created just yet. Mm. Um, so we are trying to attract the demand to the new locations as although a lot of data center developers would like to be in the popular traditional data center clusters, unfortunately, there are power limitations. So we would expect some of the demand to shift to the new regions. 
And it's very likely that this trend will sort of continue um, considering what's currently happening in the region. Yeah, excellent. Well, great insight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so thank glad you, you found your me. way to the data center industry. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, thank you, viewers, for joining us uh, today for this discussion with DC Byte, Yovita here. Um, and stay tuned. Uh, more coming your way. Happy networking.